my name is Melanie Crotty, and thank you for joining us for the Children's Homily at St. Bartholomew's Church. I'll be reading this morning from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, beginning with verse 35. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were worried and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. There are a few objects in our home that we never think about. We might use them every day, but we just don't think about them. I never, I pretty much never think of spoons unless, of course, I have a bowl of ice cream and I look in the silverware drawer and there are no clean spoons. I never think of the TV remote until I can't find it and my television show is just about to begin. But this week I was thinking about mirrors. Let's talk about mirrors and take a look at them just for a moment. My mirror is kind of typical, I guess. It's round and it has a handle so I can hold it up. There is an unusual thing about this mirror. This side magnifies my face and makes it pretty big. I don't like that side. I like this side much better. We can use mirrors to see how we look before we go out to a special event, to church, to school. We like to look at a mirror because it helps us to see what we look like and helps us to make changes so that we can look the way we would like to look when we were out, when we are out. Mirrors are useful um, too, if you have finally eaten that bowl of ice cream and you're worried there might be a bit of the ice cream on your chin, a, an ice cream beard, mm, imagine that. Take a moment to look in a mirror. What do you see? Do you see someone with glasses? Do you see someone with freckles on their nose? Do you see someone who has gotten bitten by a mosquito right there? Here's an even bigger question now. Who do you see reflected in the mirror? Who do you see reflected in the mirror? We will get back to mirrors in just a minute. In the Gospel of Matthew, we read that Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages and taught in the synagogues in those places, and he told people the good news of the kingdom. He healed people of all kinds of sicknesses and diseases, and Jesus saw the crowds of people in each of these places, and he felt compassion for them because they were worried and because they were helpless. They were like sheep without a shepherd to lead them. And you can imagine that's a pretty difficult situation for sheep without a shepherd to show them where the water is, to show them where they can eat and find good grazing ground. The word compassion is a very strong word in the Bible. It's much more than just a feeling, uh, feeling sorry for someone who can't find their spoon for their ice cream. It is a feeling that comes from way down deep inside. It is a feeling of deep concern and sadness for another person who is hurting or suffering in some way. And at the same time, a person who feels compassion 
wants to help those people so that things will be better for them. Of all the things about Jesus I have learned, my favorite is his compassion. Because the stories of his compassion, of healing and caring for people, just encourage me to live that way, to be compassionate too. So, let's get back to the mirrors. We already mentioned mine is round with two sides. One side I like, one side I don't. What kind of mirror do you have? What shape is it? Is it square? Is it oval? Maybe it's a rectangle. Does it have a handle on it? Some mirrors are square or oval. But the mirrors I am thinking of right now are people-shaped mirrors. And you're probably thinking, what? People-shaped mirrors? Yes, people-shaped mirrors because we all can reflect Jesus. We can be mirrors and people can see Jesus reflected in us. We can reflect the way Jesus taught and lived and died. Today we read about Jesus' great compassion for people. We want to be people-shaped mirrors that reflect the kind of compassion and care Jesus had for all people in all times. So now I'm going to give you some homework, but don't worry. You don't need paper, you don't need pencils, you don't need a computer or a calculator. You just need your mirror. And as you look into a mirror each day this week, think about how you can be a reflection of Jesus. Think of how you can be a people-shaped mirror to the world, reflecting the compassion of Jesus. Think of how you can show compassion for others because of the compassion of Jesus for us. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to this world. Thank you for his compassion and help us to be people-shaped mirrors so that we can reflect Jesus' compassion. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, very soon, 9.30, you will get to see um, and participate in live stream worship at St. Bartholomew's Church. Um, so gather your family and look for um, the link on the webpage and join us. Thank you.